Okay, this is Abdullah el -Amin, formerly known as Raspberry Holland, from, well, his mom was born in Shreveport, Louisiana, and his father was born in Little Rock, Arkansas. Little Rock, Arkansas. Abdullah, today is um, July 20, what's the day? <laughs> 23rd. <laughs> July 23rd. I sound like that. All right, that's more rice tea. In a place to be. In the place to be. Awesome. All right. You, See you All right. later. All right. Uh, what's your name again? Ab Brother Abdullah. Not in your car, okay, thanks. Um, what do you feel is really important for today's population to know? That there is only one deity in, uh, in the entire uh, there was one deity, period, and he laid down uh, rules for us to follow, and we would be the best off to follow those rules as laid down by the creator. Oh, well, yeah, why am I even holding it? I'm fixing my thing now, so I actually don't have to hold so, it. So, what are you doing? You're, you're making a, a video. A video. Your own video. I didn't know you. So what? This isn't live though. It's just a video. So what's something that you um, really feel has like helped you in your life? Well, I always say two two things that that uh, made my life. First of all, when I accepted Islam, and it, and second, when I married my wife. Mm-hmm. Third, you picked up your son. <laughs> <laughs> How did you actually, uh, like, what was going on in your life where you were open to even looking at other religions? Like, some people are born in a religion and then they just stay in that. Like, what made you open yourself up to the possibility of there being a different way of looking at religiosity and God? Well, uh, when you have a lot of different experiences, and you take those experiences and you recognize there's something else to look at in this world and start uh, looking at it and it, you expand your mind, you expand yourself, you expand your, your knowledge of the creation mm -hmm. and that uh, enhances you. So who first told you about Islam? A friend of mine that I grew up with. What uh, was his name? Salim Rahman. Oh, what was his name growing up though? William Deese. William Deese. Mm -hmm. uh, William Deese. William D-E-A-C-E. D-E-A-C-E. -E. -E -E. Oh, okay. Deese. So um, how did he find out about it? I don't know. But he found out some way, and then he told you, come on over here? Mm hmm So you, so how old were you then? 33? Yeah, a little younger than that. 32-ish? Yeah, 32. Yeah, 32, something like that. Uh -huh. Yeah. 32. Mm -hmm. And he said, come on over here to the temple. Well, he said, uh, I got something. I know something that you hear, you would like it. Mm -hmm. I said, "What's that?" He said, "Islam." Mm -hmm. I said, "Oh yeah." So <laughs> we started talking, going to have coffee, and, and uh, just acceptance. Mm. Mm -hmm. Were you searching for religion? No. Were you like how were you were you um, going to church and stuff at that time? No. So you're, were you, what would you classify if somebody had said, "Well, what are you, Abdullah?" Like, what would you have said at that time? Uh, see, I'm not a part of any uh, particular religion, partic particular, uh, uh, you know, mm -hmm. religion. Mm -hmm. I'm not a part of one. 
As a matter of fact, you know, I used to be eight, eight, eight years. I used to call myself eight years. Mm, how old were you then? About, you know, about late 20s, 30s. I doubt it. Mm-hmm. I was, see, there is no God. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I used to think that. Mm-hmm. And, and I had, you know, proof of it. Uh, and, but that runs out mm. when, when, when you see the... Um, Evidence of the creation, put in here by the creator. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that that river runs out. Mm-hmm. So he's like, "Come on, I got something. I think you might like when you hear it." So then he started talking to you. And then how long after that did you accept it? Oh, about uh, six months, three, four, five, six months. Wow, that's pretty fast. Yeah, because uh, it's the truth. Mm. You know, and and uh, I wouldn't accept any uh, anything that wasn't true mm-hmm. or or that uh, didn't did not uh, connect with the creation. Mm-hmm. See, see, Islam connected with, with, with the creation. What you mean? Well, uh, like you, you look at the Quran, and everything in there, uh, you can prove, uh, and, and and it's in, in line with the from creator to creation, and uh, so it uh, it proves itself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And did you ever have any doubts? Like once you became Muslim, was it ever like I don't really know if this stuff is true, or did no. you like come in and just go hard? I came in because it, it was proven to be mm-hmm. true to me. I used to talk to, to, to professors, Islamic professors, uh, other other professors, anybody, and none of them could. Could uh, put down what I was saying about the, the religion. When I was going to college, mm-hmm. my professors was in college. They couldn't deal with me, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so uh, it just got to be true. It's just true. I I, I, I was given the truth mm-hmm. by Allah, so. I couldn't, um, I could not uh, uh, turn back, turn, turn away from that truth mm. because it proved itself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the streets got unproved mm. as, yeah, as to uh, their, their importance, you know. I, I, I thought at first being cool was important. Mm-hmm. But uh, <laughs> the submission to the Creator is important, mm. and it's proven mm-hmm. by uh, it's proven by the scriptures and uh, the earth and and, and, and the uh, the environment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All yeah. right. So, how did you, um, like when you came in? What was the difference between Abdullah and uh, Raspberry? What was the difference between those two personalities? My personality? I guess, you know, like different, not different people, yeah. but you know what I mean. My my best, my, my, my best friend, uh, Daryl, uh, I, I was t- talking to him. I said, man, you know, since I became Muslim, I said, I'm, I got smart. <laughs> I know. I, yeah. He said, Slim Daddy, he called me Slim Daddy. He said, You always was smart. You just didn't know. <laughs> Aww. That was me. He said, he, he said, You always was, but he said, You just didn't know. Dang. How many kids, young men are out there brilliant, but just don't know? Just it? don't know. 
Yeah. Yeah. Those guys in the street. They, yeah. The guys I used to uh, emulate. And, and they got smart. You know, mm -hmm. got, like even a dope dealer, you know, you gotta run an organization, mm -hmm. just like a a, a a corporation. Yeah, you gotta have the lieutenants, and they run it. Mm -hmm. They can run it good. And I uh, uh, used to used to you know, even like those people. They were they were the ones I looked at as being uh, it. Mm -hmm. uh, but but you know they're, they're smart. You, you you look at people even even people like the president now, Trump. Mm -hmm. Guys smart. Mm -hmm. Guys just evil. Mm. That's all. But he's smart. Like the devil. The, the devil is the devil is smart. Very smart. But uh, he's evil. Yeah. And so I found how I could be good. And rise on up the top, uh, and, and have people to look up to you, mm -hmm. and, you do, and you don't have to be smoking weed and, and drinking and acting the fool. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do that. You just submit to to uh, Allah to God. He rise you. He rise you. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. That's what your uh, guy, me, me, he and I were talking about. Oh, um, Tim Rizumon? Yeah. From us all. Mm -hmm. we, told, we were talking about how uh, a lot will rise you guys. You don't have to mm -hmm. do all that stuff. Mm. And then when I found that out, not, not, I came from sitting on the, on, on the curb at... Uh, the boulevard in Linwood mm -hmm. to being invited to the office of the chairman of mm -hmm. American Natural Resources sitting in a big leather chair mm -hmm. park parking underneath it down there in Whitwood and uh, and uh, uh, Jefferson. Mm -hmm. that, that guy. And here they I'm I'm invited to come down there you know, my own park parking spot. Sit, sitting in a, a big soft leather chair <laughs> and just came off the street. Mm. <laughs> so how did that happen? Mm. Because it, it happened because I was enthused with uh, the religion as it uh, is uh, as is meant to be live mm -hmm. by, by my law, by Allah, the way he intended mm -hmm. us to live. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Way to be. Wow. He said, you don't have to do all that. Just being good and close to Allah will raise you up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it. You don't have to, you don't have to, you don't have to uh, uh, See, see, like I used to think those people was cool with you know, on on the street going down mm -hmm. on Twelfth Street, going going to the bars, and, and drinking and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. and I thought that was cool. Mm -hmm. That's all I knew. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people out there in the street, that's all they know. Mm -hmm. And so, what, what me, me and your 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 buddy talking about, we had to put out there. Other existence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that title, the other existence. I like that. Mm. That's pretty <laughs> sweet, actually. Yeah, yeah. The other existence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was telling one of my other clients the other day because um, she's seventy years old and she was a coach. She coached basketball and coached sports all her life for her career, and she is going into life coaching now. Mm -hmm. But she was saying the the things that she sees different and the things that she wished people nowadays had learned from before. And we were talking about how generations have to relearn now things that you guys already learned. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So the fact that you learned this stuff, right? right? So really, you learned something that if the people out there just learned it from you guys who already went through it, we would be so much right. Yeah. Ahead. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I told you a lot of guys at the mosque about that. Mm-hmm. It's hard for them to grasp it. You know, you know, how they, they, what do you mean? Well, like uh, some of the brothers and the younger guys, you know, they, they, the way they came up, different from that. And uh, it, it's, uh, they, they, their fathers taught them you know, different. See, the guys in my age group, mm-hmm. uh, you know, were some of the worst parents. Hmm. That existed. It's because that, you know, when it started, it would smoke weed in front in front of the kids. Mm. You know, um, curse. Uh, you know, all kind of things that lower your uh, uh, lower lower yourself down, like. Like being 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 uh, ig- ignorant and uh, uh, having your kids do things that you know are not uh, it's not good for them, mm. and you uh, here he got young boys, nine ten years old going going to uh, R rated movies with their mom. Mm, hmm And so, and, and, and the mom, uh, you know, he got nudity and, and sex and all of that. And he's sitting right, ne- right next to his mother mm-hmm. in, in, in the movie. And that was the only kind of movies they had. So I started this group, uh, the, uh, Dads against pornography. I don't know. No, it, was, it, was, it was um, it, it was in in a faith thing, Christian mm-hmm. and, and Jews, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, it was uh, people people of faith in God, mm-hmm. and so we did, we did a lot of things, and the, and the idea was um, same thing now. Have your faith in God, and uh, not not uh, not not submit yourself to to evil. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he because you can imagine a lot of people, a lot of these guys and women, they thought they thought that uh, the ice. I think the ice machine. Uh, they they thought that um, that was all right mm. to take the sun. To already movie with sex and all that in there, mm-hmm. they thought it was all right, uh, or didn't care one or the other. Right. And so they, they they come up. They don't respect women. Mm-hmm. You know they. they uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, and and so they. So that's that's just one of the things that. Uh, and the people of my age group, we did, which is worse one, which is smoke weed in front of the kids, get high, and all that. Mm. Yeah. So I was fortunate to break out of that. Right. Your friend saved your life. Yeah. I, I know uh, Isaac, Isaac saved me one time. Uh, we were we were going to college. Mm-hmm. We started Shaw College. We, we went there. <laughs> we went there. We, we were coming from. We got some money. We, we, we used to get checks and stuff. Here. My sister used to had to work at the place to get. It. So we we walked down the street, down in Woodward and uh, Boulevard. They say, uh, I'm going to go to college. <laughs> I say, so, I, so I say, well, here's one right here. We, <laughs> we were right there in front of uh, Shaw College. We just said, come on, man. We went on in there. Wow. Signed up to go to college. <laughs> wow. 
Now, now, Allah put us there at that particular time. Yeah. That, that we said, we'll go to college. And he... <laughs> <laughs> and you took the steps that went in there. You didn't say, oh, yeah, they're going right there. And yeah. just kept on going down the street. You actually went in. And then uh, uh, we would around sometimes with the people that use drugs and stuff. They might fall, fall by the wayside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I had the money. I told Isaac, come on, man, we're going to get high. Mm -hmm. yeah. Any time I say that, he said, "Yeah, come on." <laughs> but he said, "No, nah, man." He said, "You doing good?" Aww. He said, uh, "He said, uh, you don't, you don't go down there. You you doing good?" He said, "So, cause if I went, I would make." Yeah. Uh, but they what they call them, get off, off the wagon. Mm-hmm. But he wouldn't let me go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what friends are for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, <laughs> I remember Larry made me take that whoop, whoop, baloney back. To the <laughs> <laughs> I went, I went back. Wow, it's not like you had some amazing like male friends in your life. Yeah, well, they, they were friends, but you know, um, a lot sends you angel. Mm. Yeah, a lot sends you help. But, yeah, and uh, the thing is, you got to recognize the help and act on the help mm -hmm. and use the help. Okay, if you ignore it mm -hmm. and just keep going, it it do you no good. Mm. Where Allah, those the angels. Allah said, Allah said, the angels. It don't, have, it don't have to be, uh, I'm not talking about somebody flapping wings and everything. Mm -hmm. Any angel can be another, like um, Isaac and Larry, all of them, ain't angelic. Mm -hmm. They help, they help. Allah sent him. Because mm -hmm. all those things just feel right in place. Mm -hmm. so, right. That's all. That's a lot. <coughs> if you got to do it, you, you got to do it. And, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, she didn't look back. I had a, a office at the college right there next to the president's office <laughs> because you know we're, 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 cause, cause that was a doing a work study. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, work study in the college. And uh, she said, they said, I had me an office. <laughs> <laughs> a lot gave me all that stuff. Yeah. But one thing you got to do, like I was telling Ms. Reese, that uh, you got to uh, use that, and you got to make yourself stationary with it. You know, you got to. See, I didn't do that. I flopped around and, uh, you know, didn't prepare myself for the longevity. Mm. Yeah. yeah, so uh, that's what you got to, have to do. You got to, you got to make, make, make sure you, like all the guys that are out the mosque, them guys, Lawrence and all them, they got nice little, uh, Pension, mm -hmm. I don't have none, but I got more recognition from the them, but they in a more of a stable uh, position. But I, I, cause I didn't set myself for the future. Looking at mm -hmm. that, that, that's what I was telling that Dries and you too. You know, you got to, you got to do that. Uh, because uh, otherwise you're wasted. Mm. You, 
situation. If the situation you in now, you got to, you know, really look at being uh, independent, independent, and, and, and stationary. You know, 